Could you tell us a little bit about your childhood again? Oh, God, what would I say now? Childhood. And if she gets anything wrong with her, she can interject and say, Hi, no, that's not how I remember. Yes, 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 yes. Where, did you have favourite games? Well, you see, our, our playing in that was out on the road, like swinging on the pole, and then when the frost would come, we'd make a skate down the road, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Do you know? What street was it you grew up on again? Um, uh, Griffith Place. Griffith Place. Yeah. Now, and you see, there again, when we were going to school, we'd have to go down through the nursery to get to school, because our the, the nursery was a kind of, um, what do you call it? Fields and things. Yes, yeah. And it was a nursery before those houses were built, you see. Yeah. So, oh, you know, yeah. and then and all the other streets. And they built the them up, they built up at the back, so to get to school, we'd have to go down and run through the nursery over. And where was your school? Down to the Mercy Convent, down on the other road. And did you love school? Loved it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did, I must say, you know. I That's loved, unusual. <laughs> I did, I loved school. I went to work and left work and went back to school. You loved it so much? Mm -hmm. I loved it, yeah, yeah. I loved maths and all that kind of thing. Yeah, you know. and what, was it nuns? All nuns in the mercy? It was all nuns, yeah, yeah. And they weren't easy to work with now, but, you know, they were all right. And we had um, a teacher. I always remember a teacher, Miss Fitzgerald, and she always sat on her desk with her leg up, and we'd all be looking up at her knickers. <laughs> 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 I remember that well. Yeah. I'd be mean, just like that. But she, you know, I didn't she, never, she was never aware that you guys were looking at her nickers. Not at all, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> so that that way, like, you know, and... Um, and did you have favourite games? Uh, well, I played squash for a long time, but that was later on in life kind of thing, you know? You, you, you came from a family of 12, right? Yeah, 12. So you yeah. probably shared bicycles and things. Oh, like we that. did. We sh and, li and like that now, you know, we'd want to go downtown, say, on Saturday. But you couldn't go unless you had put the card in your red polish on the kitchen. You had your job done, then you could go. Oh, yeah. But we couldn't go until our jobs were done. Yeah. We all had we all had to rotate. Even the boys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even and even now as sitting at the table, you know, there'd be twelve of us and my father was at the top, then my mother we all had our own seats. You know what I mean? You didn't sit up there no. you know, because you know, in the in age group you went down. That's all up with good memories. Or good manners. Abs oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the same way now, at the table, like if you crossed over in the wrong direction. My father used to say I thought it was really ladies, but I made a mistake. Oh, that probably would upset you then. Yeah. yeah. But those kind of things, like, you know. And where, where did you guys go to Mass? Uh, went, I'm sure. Old, uh, old Valley Bricken, yes. Old Valley Bricken as And um, there was Father Farrell down there. And uh, he used to cough a lot, you know. Oh, oh. oh, he smoked a lot. He did, you see. So I was starting to smoke, and I went in on Sunday morning, and I actually out coughed Father Farrell. I had to run out of the church with shame. You know. So that was the end of it, and smoke after that. Did you start smoking quite young? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I gave it to him, I said, no, that's it. When I heard myself coughing as bad as he was coughing, yeah, lesson learned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, I'll just go over to Peter now. Right, and we'll, right. we'll, we'll go on to other things mm -hmm. later on. But Peter, uh, what about your memories of childhood? When we were young, I was born and reared in Queen Street in Tremor. And uh, my mother and father, and I had a sister and a brother. And we had no backyard. The handball alley was our backyard. Mm -hmm. And we used to go down and play football and tennis and handball. We played everything. I learned all the soccer skills in the handball alley because if you kicked the ball against the wall it came back at a different angle every yeah. time and mm -hmm. so you learned from e either leg so I was quite good at the football over the years very fish. yeah right. but but we, that's all we did we played games <coughs> we went up to the Christian Brothers to school but your uh, father had a place in the high street right? he, had a, he had a shop in high street so but he, he spent a lot of time during in the, the war now he was a crippled man he had, he had polio when he was young and he used to drag a leg after him and this the left arm used to just hang down oh. so when he came home and in the night time, there was no such thing in those days that he used to sell bicycles. And he used to cycle in and out of water, but he had, a, he had a one, he used to only he had to use one leg to pedal and had a fixed wheel. And he used to get in and out of water to the, the shop every day to work wow. and come home at night. And my mother had the tea and everything and the dinners ready. But 
My father, I never remember him washing a cup or a saucer in his life. Did you drive for all that stuff? Yeah, well, he never had to. My mother did everything like that. She, she'd be up at five o'clock in the morning lighting the range and she'd be out polishing the, the brass on the doors and all that kind of stuff. And she had to, there were flags outside the house and she had to scrub the flags with the, an old scrub. Yes. And I remember she used to do the washing then on, on a, a washboard. And then oh, she, got a, she got a washing machine hot pint washing machine with a, a, a beater in the middle of it and she had that in the bathroom down by the bathroom downstairs and uh, it had an outside toilet then we used to have to use the outside toilet. Yeah, pretty basic. Did you have a lot of brothers and sisters? I had a brother and, and a sister, yeah. So uh, my sister married Sonny Cummins, young, young Sonny Cummins and my brother married a girl called Keown, uh, Breda Keown from Grace Dew. Yes. Uh, yes. Remember the Cones? There was a gang yeah. up near I, you. I know really well. Yeah. Okay, Chris, I'll go on to Chris's yeah. child right now before we get too yeah. old. Well, well, I know when we yeah. get older, we'll go back to this. Uh, well, Bernard, from the time I was young, like, you know, as I said, being the youngest of 12, that we were all, we weren't allowed out on the street. We had to play in the garden. There was no way you'd be allowed out on the street. And, uh, like, Mummy now was very, very protective. And I learned from a very age to be able to duck and dodge, you know. Oh, yeah. And uh, were you smoking fags like Mary at a young age? No, no, I wasn't because, like, anyone that I started to go out with when I was quite young now, you know, I'd, the, the main thing you see once you arrived at a certain age, you'd have to get some boy to get to pay for you, which was four pence to get into the pictures. So I mean, you'd have to go to any lengths. So you, you didn't know, pick the blackberries and things like we, that? Oh, we did, like when, oh, we, when we were young. And then you see, you'd add ways to sell them and all that. Oh, yeah. But again, too, like, you know, as I said, we were taught now, like, you know, I remember even making jam at home now and stuff like that. And then when we went to school, it was, uh, again, no, I wasn't very interested in school whatsoever. Because did you not love the mercy like Mary? No, not at all, like, you know, because again, from a very early age, I'd be looking at fellas to, you know, to get into the pictures and all that sort of stuff. And then, if they even took you in then for, uh, into the Savoy Cafe for a cup of coffee, you'd know they really liked you. Oh, so yeah. that was the big deal, that you know. Deal. And then, you see, again, we had to go to Mass. And all during the event, you'd have to go to Mass every morning. Every morning. Every oh, God, morning. Not just no, no, you'd have to kind of go to Mass very, very particular about things like that. And then I was joined the confraternity. And that was a great excuse for me to go out. I'm going to the confraternity. And what's that? It was a, a kind of a, a church meeting, a church, church thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd say to mum, I have to go to the confraternity because I was prefect of it. But I'd be ducking and dodging. She, I wouldn't, she wouldn't be at the I wouldn't be at the confraternity at all. And one night then, obviously, mummy got sense and she said to me, and what priest had you? My mouth fell open. So that was the end of confraternity, you know. So, like, you had to learn it, you, you had to learn at a very young age, you know, to duck and dodge. Duck and dodge, mm. yeah. mm. That's great, great, um, you know, but, great advice for the yeah. Yeah, Exactly, you know. But you see, um, things were much uh, simpler now, uh, Berna, in our days. Very, very simple. Well, I know, you I know, know, I know. That leads me on to, as, you, as now you're dressing a little bit older, yeah. you would have started going to the Olympia Ball. Oh, oh exactly. And yeah. Mary, I know you married um, Georgie. Georgie. Yeah, yeah. And uh, did you meet him at the Olympia? No, we oh, down in, in the, well, we'd be down in the Olympia, but he lived down around the corner a little bit, like you know. And uh, but we'd meet where I really met him was down in the oh the church, the, the cathedral at the novena, the perpetual novena. He sat in beside me one night. And he, and he, people today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he, walk, he was walking home, so I was walking home as well. So then he sent his sister up then the next day to know would I go out with him. And so I did. But he called it off because I laughed when he was singing the hymns. Oh. <laughs> well, he obviously put back but on then him. he said, <laughs> <laughs> And how about you, Peter? Do you uh, avail of the Olympia ballroom? Oh, I did. I did. I met Angela yeah. in the Olympia ballroom. <laughs> Is that Angela? Yeah. Oh. And I saw this girl and I said, my God, she's beautiful. <laughs> and I went to, I danced with another girl and I was dancing around and dancing around <laughs> and, and trying to keep an eye on her. <laughs> so, so, moving in. Moving in. So we eventually got to meet each other and we, we, we went out together for a while. Then it was all off and then it was all on and then it was all off and then it was all on. <laughs> 
But we eventually got married anyway. Uh, and, we had, and we had five kids. <laughs> and we were lived, went to live in Tremor, in Love Lane, in a little, it was a, a little cottage at the end of Love Lane. And I spent half my life doing it up. It was a mud and stone cottage. It was 450 years old. And on the, the, what the, the maps, the old maps, it was an outhouse for the house where Eddie MacDonald is living in now. Right. It was just an outhouse, and it was only yes. mud and stone. I've seen it, and it's gorgeous. And it's gorgeous now, but it took me years to do it up. I bet. But, but, uh, but I moved then, and I got the idea. Ar Arthur Dyle's son, what, what, not, oh. it, not uh, Arthur Dyle's, what's his name? Uh. Oh, in High Street there. Oh. What's his name? The auctioneers. I, I, I know, him, but yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Walter Halley. Oh yes. <coughs> he came out to me one day and said, "I'm after buying a cottage across the road from you." I said, "I don't want a cottage. I'm paying, paying a mortgage for this." I said, <coughs> for, "For doing it all up." So I went home and had a look at it, and it was on about, I suppose, nearly half an acre of land, and it was only nineteen thousand. So I had to get another mortgage to buy that. Mm. So I spent eight, seven years doing that up. So I used to go over in the nights and every day, every every weekend, and mm -hmm. we had it done up. So eventually, Adele then the one of the daughters bought Queen bought Love Lane, and we moved into where, where I am now in Cove Road. Right. Spent my life building. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, get back to High Street. Yeah, yeah. get back to High Street. Yeah. yeah. Well, next time round, yeah. we'll, we'll hear. Yes. So Chris met her foe. I did yeah. actually in the Olympia, yeah. and. Um, <clears throat> It was very funny because Hilary had been in England working and Agnes met him and she always said to me, Chris, this is your sister. My, my older sister, and she said, I met this chap at the Bows and he's nicer than all the rest of them. You know, and I'm listening to Agnes. There are a lot of Bows too, weren't there? Well, 18 of them, 18, 18, 18, 18 of them, yeah. you know, of Hilary's family. And I went down to the Olympia and I was with this particular chap, I won't mention a name, and uh, sitting down and what happened was, he said to me, what would I like to drink? And uh, I said, whatever you're having yourself, I didn't want to say whiskey. <laughs> and uh, he brought he brought down a whiskey for himself and a glass of orange for me. Well, I was furious. <laughs> and with I that, thought you couldn't drink in the Olympia. Oh yeah, you could. There was a bar at the oh, at the oh, end of the Olympia. Oh, oh, and yeah. what happened then? You see, the men when the bars would be finished, the ordinary bars, they'd come over for more drink in the Olympia. See, oh, that was the thing. I you have to wait a little bit late for fellas to come in but uh, and with that I saw Hillary coming across and he just said to me are you with that gentleman and I said no I'm not <laughs> so he just said then you know what I like to dance and then I went home with him and that was the end of it. Mm -hmm. Well you didn't yeah. exactly go home with him initially. No 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 he just sort of said you know and it was very very funny. He walked you with him. He walked no him. no no the thing about it was when I went outside he had a murk outside the door Oh well. and then he asked me in for a coffee when I got home. Uh, no, when I saw the house, I couldn't believe it. You oh, know, my God, and you think and, uh, prospect, you know? No, but uh, again, I couldn't with the drawing room and all. No, this, this was Hillary in, all up in, in prospect. In prospect. Yes. No, the drawing room Hillary and all this. So we went down to the kitchen. I thought I was walking for a half an hour. And he was. He made up cream crackers and he was cutting them in quarters, putting them into my mouth. And I said, all my Christmases have come together, mm. you know. And you went on to get married, and you're still married for after no, 20 but, years. No, but, but 54 years we're married now. But I said to Hillary, you never told me at the time I'd be living in the lodge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought now, like, you know, I'm kind of up there, but, you know, so happy endings. Happy, happy, happy endings, endings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you see, life, Bern, was so simple in those days now. It was, know. you know, oh, yeah. you knew where you were going and everything else. Know. You know, those, you know, but having said that now, I must say, like for all the years, I never only went out with one fella. I went out with three or four at the time. Until you got married. Oh, until, until <laughs> I got married. Yes. This but, is on camera. Though. You know, but life was, was very simple then. I know, I know. You know. It's a lovely story. Yeah, but no, but we, we did. Uh, getting back uh, to, the, to the shops in the middle of town, there, there were characters that um, I've heard their names like, oh, yeah. Sweetie Power. You Sweetie Power, Power yeah. fantastic. Who was Sweetie Power? He, they, were, they were in, in um, uh, what do you call it? Patrick Street, weren't they? Patrick Street, they Powers. Uh, Sweetie Powers, didn't they have a shop there, no? They had a shop there, I think they had. That's yeah. right, they used to, yeah. you know, they used to sell... Uh, Mike Dunphy. Yeah. <coughs> I thought uh, they were across the road from Sloan's, weren't they? 
Remember, there was Lipton's, was there? No, no, no. It, was, it was a Sweetie Poe's daughter, I'm thinking, but she opened a, a material oh, shop. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, just earlier on, Peter, you had named some because you were in High Street. And I was at High the Street. Tenements <coughs> were there, the tenements were there. The, the, te- the tenements were just around the corner in Arundel Square. Yeah. And as I said earlier, there's Indian Mail, uh, there's Slip Me Fippins, <laughs> Ankle Socks. Yeah. Uh, oh, very good. There's somebody else, Bob May. Yeah, but he was another chap. Is there a woman? Yeah. Jane Doran, did you say Jane I didn't, Doran? I didn't, no, no, I didn't remember her. Oh, that must have been... But uh, they were great characters. and they, they all lived in that complex that had three or four houses there. Yeah. And who would live next to him then was George Troy. The, the, he was the plumber. And when uh, they were do, going to do up around the lane, he stuck out, he wouldn't sell. And they couldn't get him to move for love no money, but he... Well, did, when they wanted to do... To do... To, to, city to, to, Square. The, the city Square, yeah. And above him then was the Arundel Ballroom. Oh, yes, but we used to go dancing in that. Was the ballroom open? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 In Arundel Square, mm-hmm. <coughs> next to where Sully's has the snooker place now. Where the, the entrance to the city square, that was the Arundel Ballroom. That's right. Oh, And we yes. used to go in there to the dance. It was one and sixpence to get in. Oh, right. I mean, that, that came after the Olympia. Oh, and across the road then Jimmy O'Brien had a garage. And just just across from the city square where that, that big shop is there now. Yeah. And moving down from that then, where, where the bank is now, uh, just further down was around the lane. And yeah. John O'Donoghue had a shop on around the lane. That's amazing. And, and, there was the and, shop. and Wall- 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 Wallace's had, oh, uh, had yeah, Molly Walls and, uh, right, and Johnny Wall uh, yes, had a little shop there and they used to sell offal. And, gro- and groceries yeah. and eggs and things like that. But that was there for a fair while, wasn't it? It was there for, that, yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't know who owns it now. And I think next to, next to that, uh, Jimmy Elwood had a pub. I remember that. A big, that. big pub. And going back down High Street then, you had a, a, a woman on the corner, I can't remember her name. And next to that, Jimmy Elwood had a little, play, a little garage place there. He used to bottle his Guinness in there. In the, those days, they used to bottle the Guinness themselves. Oh, that's right, yeah. <coughs> yeah. And next to that was, was uh, what's the name? <coughs> oh, he's a silversmith, or, or, or not a silver, he worked in the paper mills himself and his wife. Tom, Tom Peters mm-hmm. was his name, and his oh, wife. Oh, and oh, he, Tom, Tom Peters committed suicide, got help. Oh. His wife died. And you have to see her running up to Jimmy Elwood's every dinner time get for a small bottle of stout for Tom when he came over from the, the flour mills. He used to work with oh, flour yes. mills. And he'd, she'd have the small bottle of stout. She died and he, he took her to heart and he, he, he gassed oh, himself. Oh, very sad. Very, very sad. sad. So next to them were the Whalens, uh, Frankie Whalen and all that, that went, and Aggie Whalen. And next to them, uh, Mrs. Halpin and uh, what's the name? Shamey helped him play soccer for a while. Oh, that's right, yes. Shamey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's good. The post office must have been always there. The post office was, up, was further up, oh, ne- next to Walter Halley's. Oh, yes. and, and Walter Halley's and, and Bobby White. They, they were in and around the square. Oh, but not, they weren't in High Street. Was O'Sullivan and the Butlers? O'Sullivan and the Butlers. The Butlers. Oh, that's yes, right. That's right. Oh, next to yes. Valence. Next to Jimmy, mm. Jimmy, what's his name? He's the mayor. G- what's his name? Jimmy. Oh, they live in Daisy Terrace. Um, Jimmy Quinn, really? Jimmy Quinn, yes, and he used to have rabbits hanging out outside. Yeah. He'd be selling the rabbits oh, and right. the eggs and, and yeah. poultry and everything. He, he had that. He had a, a good place there. And next to that was a man and woman living. I can't remember the name. They moved down to Bath Street. And next to that was the Twins Bar. The Twins Bar. Yeah, there was a bar down the end of High Street. And across the road from that, then Sullivan's the butlers. Yes. And then Sullivan's had a pub next to it. Part of it was a pub, small little shebeen of a place. And we had our shop then, Halligan shop. He's, my father used to sell bicycles. That's right. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and radios. There's nothing really of all that no. there anymore. Oh, no. Kevin Barton was next door. He used to sell, the, make keys. And you'd bring, you'd bring Kevin in a key to be cut, and there was about 500 keys on the table, mm-hmm. and he put your key down on the top of it, and he'd say to yourself, yeah. how did you find the key? You go in and, <laughs> and, and next thing. There's still a little key place there, though. No, it's gone now. That wouldn't have any connection. No, that's connect, no connection oh, okay. to Kevin. Um, and next to that was the 
with Jimmy Pons at the butter market what that Michael was talking about it. And uh, just next to that, and next to that, Flynn's had a poultry place. Mm -hmm. wow, you've got a great memory from all that. And, and yeah. that was High Street, yeah. 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 And listen, you know. that, just before we wind up, is there anything else that has come to mind that you that you wanted to say? Maybe Only that I never made any money in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No, but even speaking about like you know Woolworths. Woolworths was a fabulous place to go. Or to ask, what because, do you remember the, um, the... We used to meet everybody outside Woolworths. And on then you could go in at the suites and get a little bag and you could take two out of this one and two out of that. And, it, and yeah. that's... No, I'll never forget that that I mentioned in that. And I got them before I was catching the Tremor train because now the Tremor train was like heaven. Just mm -hmm. run down and into the train and up around the Donner Hill. No, I wouldn't go down on the beach. And over to the, you know, the, the, and that's where I learned to swim and all. Jump in over your depth and catch onto the rope. There was a little foil. Or that's a, right, a yes, foil yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's that 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 absolutely that. fantastic. Yeah. And that's, I remember meeting on the train and I took out these bag of sweets and a lot of the, the, the boys, as we call them, were there. And that's how I met my first boyfriend. You were boy crazy, you were. But you see, okay, it right. wasn't, it was, it was great sport, you know. Oh, you know, go up and play tennis. Well, I, I, I never got to, I, I bought the racket and then I'd cycle up with the racket. But I wouldn't go out because I was very shy and uh, play the game. Oh, and then come home. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you see, it was, you know, things were so different. You know, and like religion had an awful lot to do with it. Oh, you know, oh, you yes, couldn't yes. say a wrong word or anything. Oh, no, not at all. A friend of mine, you have to go over here When the priest had walked down, the path, yes. you'd have to get off the path. That's right. Oh, you'd have to step off the path. Yeah. 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 With this lady, she was fat, and I said to her, Peggy, are you sick or anything? And she said, no, Mary, but she said, he kissed me last night, I'm wondering if I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> and I said that to her friend, her friend, I yeah. don't know if I'm pregnant she or not. She said, kissed, why did she tell her that? Night. He kissed me last night. <laughs> But that mature it was, no. As I said, we'd have to go down Paddy yeah. Brown's road early to get a space in the ditch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Oh, you God, yes. Oh, yeah. We didn't go early. Or down by the wall, the back of the convent. Mm. Oh, yeah. The back of the convent. Oh, yeah. the back of the convent. Oh, the you have to go early to get a space. You would. Yeah. You would. Yeah. Oh, it was, you know, simply, very simple times now. You know. It was so funny. It was so, uh, so innocent. Yeah, but that's uh, the right thing we had. Now, if we were together, like the, the, the five sisters, yeah. we could talk forever about what happened long ago, you yeah, know, and yeah, the mischief yeah. now, the, the innocence, going out playing Betty's on, on the thing, like, you know, on hockey, yeah, 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 yeah. all of that, you know, and then throw a little bucket of water and we'd go out, and I remember Mummy, she had three coats for the three youngest, and this was tan, like, you know, with a little brown collar, and someone pulled me and I came down in the tan coat, well, listen, I got crucified when I went in. <laughs> You know, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You couldn't. Oh, you had to be nervous. Remember, Hilary, Hilary, Hilary was bringing, helping my mother in. Hilary Bo helping her in the footpath and up the steps, and she had a fur coat. Oh, yeah. And whatever way he caught her like that, she lifted up. She fell out of the fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And as soon as you'd, you'd have somebody new <laughs> coming in, <laughs> the first question you'd be asked is, Where's his father working? Oh, yeah. Who's his mother? Yeah. Oh, you'd you'd no, make sure that, you know, that you'd know exactly where you were coming from. But no, I think myself that they were wonderful days. They were great. And I enjoyed every second of them. And I actually feel sorry for the, the girls because we could go down to the Olympia oh, yeah. and meet somebody. Of course. You know, and I said, even with the Olympia, like all the women sat there and the men would have to come over and we view them. Yeah. We'd see them coming, which is like I wouldn't no, like you. No, no, but I mean, it was just <laughs> lovely. And you could walk home then from the ballroom. Oh, you, well, you could walk home at 10 past 3 in the morning. You could, and, um, and once the yeah, light was on, oh, up very, very good. corner, and we were safe. Mm -hmm. oh. 10 past 3 in the morning, no problem. Well, no cars or anything. You'd be walked home. That was lovely. Oh, God, God, it was. Not really, truly. Thanks so much for all the memories. They're great. Thank you very much. Thanks for that. Thank you.